Eric Haugen. Check the description box below for where to find me digitally, information about the sound tools I'm using today, and links to my laid back True Fire Masterclass. <laughs> Today we're continuing a discussion of crossover scales. Now we're combining blues scale with harmonic minor. Yes, very fun thing to do. Join me, let's play a 10th fret um, pentatonic minor scale, AKA D minor pentatonic. <laughs> So let's now add the flat five to it to make it from a pentatonic minor into a full blues scale. Watch out. Hey, look, I'm using all downstrokes. By the way, a little detour, I'm gonna to have to make a video about this. When going slow, it's okay to use downstrokes. up strokes if I really really need to. Okay that's our blue scale that's one side of the coin. Now I'm going to show you how to play this whole little opening solo and by the way boom post the tab up and the backing track for free on Patreon. Dee -dee 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 -dee. There it is. But there's pentatonic minor add the flat five now we got a blue scale. Nice stuff we can do with that. Now Let's in the same spot understand where our natural minor scale is. First octave. Coming down. That's our natural minor scale, which is a nice scale. Now, you would only want to utilize harmonic minor if the chord progression had uh, the harmonic minor note in it. So this gets into that thing of context. We don't just kind of do whatever. We pay attention to the song and the chords that are happening in the song, and then that tells us things. So that chord change I'm playing over, that very Tom Waits sounding chord change is D minor. Sounds like Fastball, that song from the 90s. They made up their minds. They started packing. But that's, that's a one. D minor is the one. A7 is the five chord. And because it's a major chord, if we take a little time to think about that, that has a C sharp in it. which is, that's the note that when there is a five chord that's major, that has the, the lead, they call that the leading tone. It has that, that raised seventh degree of the scale. By the way, this is an advanced lesson. I apologize as if flying over your head. I have a whole series on music theory on my channel. Go ahead and uh, sit through hours of me talking if you can tolerate it. Sorry. But yeah, if we have a five chord that's major, That indicates that yes, it is alarms go off and it's time to switch to harmonic minor. So a harmonic minor scale is, so still a natural minor scale. Hello. C sharp. There's that first octave again. Next octave. That note was there, but now it's Very dramatic scale, very uh, Eastern European, very Jewish sounding scale. Honestly, a lot of world music revolves around harmonic minor. Where's Havana Gila? Yeah, a lot 
of world music is going to revolve around that sound. And so, what we do here, and I, I was talking about this last week with uh, major pentatonic and minor pentatonic, that how you kind of can cross over is, yeah, you got to see, that's four scales I'm seeing at once now, but really just two. I'm seeing blues to review. And harmonic minor. So, let's see, I come in, you know, I introduce myself, hi, I'm Eric Haugen, in the solo with a blues lick. I'm not going to say fret numbers, you can just watch my hand, unless I do something specifically interesting, but that's just a blues lick. So that, though, is pretty interesting, because I went up again. I hit this C natural and then leap to that C sharp. Very Mark Ribot thing to do. You guys know I like Mark Ribot. Look at my guitars, look at my amp. There is that note there, harmonic minor note. And then crossover lick. Because this is from the minor. Here's the flat five. You know, that, which is, you know, that A flat. I just put it over here. And then I kind of go back to thinking blues. Again, just playing around with the same ideas. There's that C natural. Here's the flat five now. So this is, a, this is the blues half. Now harmonic minor. See that? Staying in harmonic minor. Let's look at that second line, the second four bars again. Harmonic minor. Here I come back around to blues. That lick again. Now harmonic minor. Because that's just a one fret bend from this C natural to the C sharp. Same as getting that note. Still in harmonic minor. Again, a one fret bend on that 12. Flat five. Let's look at that little lick again. Harmonic minor also has the flat five though. Blues, and then G natural, you know, would have been the same as getting that, but I use an open one. <laughs> Spicy. G natural and then walking down. Again, here's a minor scale here. There's harmonic minor there. Ah, eh, close enough. Very spicy thing to do there. There's that C sharp again. To, to resolve back around to that tonic. So in conclusion, just to review, when you're in a minor key and you spot a five chord that's major, that should send alarms, bing, 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 that, oh, I can use harmonic minor. I think I had a video called when to switch to harmonic minor from, I don't remember. It's on my channel somewhere. But yes, that would send you into that direction, but you can still use blues, which is always a fun thing because you get that, that spicy interaction of the... 
it's, which is always cool because I know, I know where we're at. Uh, you know, most of the people who are watching these videos on YouTube, we're all experts of the box. So the thing I've been saying lately is I know that we spend a lot of time trying to escape the box, trying to escape. But lately I've been saying, let's not escape the box. Let's adorn the box. Let's, you know, let's dress it up because why not? It's the thing that we're always going to know better than anything else. I've been playing guitar 30 years um, and I still, that's still home base. It's always going to be home base. So I don't fight it anymore. I'm just like, yeah, I know. I know that you're my friend box, but let's see what I can add to box. Let me, let me. You know, if the box is a prison, let's make it a really, really nice prison. I feel like the pandemic has taught us that. Anyway, thanks so much uh, to everybody who supports me in all the ways that you do, even if it's just clicking like and subscribe. That really helps me with algorithm relevancy because that's how I stay in business. I don't put ads on my channel because I think they're annoying. So I make my living by people like you choosing to invest in me and you do. I appreciate it truly, I truly do. Uh, so that means you got Patreon, I got PDF downloads on my website, I have a True Fire class. I'm sure I'm forgetting some way to, for you to give me money. You don't need to give me money, but hey, it helps if you do. As Bill and Ted would say, be excellent to each other. That includes yourself. Happy Friday. Eat pizza.